and then we pulled in there's a loves and a flying j and it's only 4 30 in the afternoon 91 spots at the loves there is no parking every spot is taken i've rounded the whole parking lot and i'm like i don't have no time i only got 45 minutes left on my drive time i ain't got nowhere to go i can't go anywhere i'm out of time We are over in Phoenix. Actually, we're in Tolson or Tolerson or something like that. Basically Phoenix though. Not far from where I delivered uh, last Monday when I delivered that aluminum load. This basically down the street. That's where we are and we're going back to California. So we came from California to Arizona and now Arizona back to California. We're, but we're going to um, Oliver Hurst, California, which is up in Northern California up around Sacramento, Stockton, that area. 773 miles from Phoenix. I am currently getting loaded. It is hot. It is 10 in the morning, eh, 11 in the morning. And it's 110 or so degrees out. It is gonna be roasting. This is a tarp load. I don't know how heavy it's gonna be. It's probably gonna be pretty heavy. Probably 43, 44, 1,000. But that's what we got. We're gonna get loaded here, get strapped. I'm gonna to try to get down the road a couple hundred miles. I don't know how far I'm gonna get, but I'm gonna get as far as I can. And uh, we will go from there. But that's the plan. I'm not gonna to try to die in this heat. So it might take me a little bit to get this strapped and tarped, but they're loading me pretty quick. So I would imagine within the next 15, 20 minutes, I'm gonna be out here putting, they got forklifts on both sides, out here strapping and tarping this down. So that's what we got. Hey guys, here's what we got. I'm not sure what it is actually, but this is what we got. This looks like them, they're metal. Got piece things they put in to build trusses and stuff. I got a whole trailer full of that, 48,000 pounds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine skids. That's what we got. I'm gonna strap it and tarp it. All right, guys, she's all strapped down. Two on the first bundle, one on every bundle in between, and two on the last bundle. We're gonna put a bulkhead on this thing, too. That's what we got. We're ready to throw some tarps on this thing. And pretty soon, hopefully, we'll be rolling. Hopefully, we can do it in two tarps. Because it's a two tarper, I don't think it's gonna be the, looks pretty long. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be three. But it'd be nice if it was two. I got two tarps out, we'll see. Whoo, that was close. Man, I remember hearing Ripton or Ripon or however you say it, California, just south of Sacramento. And I started driving at four, I don't know, four, 430 this morning. And I think we was in Kingman, Arizona on 40. We came across Arizona and then up through the way up to Sacramento. We drove 562 miles today in 10 hours and 15 minutes Whew. and then we pulled in there's a loves and a flying j and it's only 4 30 in the afternoon 91 spots at the loves there is no parking every spot is taken and i was like oh no there's no spots at the loves and i knew i didn't know there was a flying j at the same exit coming up and so it's right across the street from the Love, so I was like, I guess I'm gonna go park in the Flying J. I pulled over to the Flying J, and there's no spots at the Flying J. I rounded the whole parking lot, and I'm like, I don't have no time. I only got 45 minutes left on my drive time. I ain't got nowhere to go. I can't go anywhere. I'm out of time. Come around the backside, and all the reserve spots are open. So I backed into the reserve spot and ran into the store and bought a spot real quick before they all sold out. Man, my heart was racing. I drove the whole way up here, had no time, 45 minutes left on my clock. And I thought, uh, if, I, if I get to the Flying J and they ain't got no parking, I'm screwed. I ain't got nowhere to go. Nowhere. There's nothing else up the road. There's a rest area back down, but you'd have to go back down through Modesta. It's about 20 miles south. And I don't even know if there's any parking there. <sighs> wow. So we drove 562 miles today. Um, we're 105 miles from our delivery. And it's hot out, so I got the truck running, so you have to deal with the noise. I'm trying to get it cooled down here a little bit. But we're shut down. We're gonna leave, I don't know what time we're leaving tomorrow. Probably leave about five in the morning, because I don't know what traffic like. I can go through Sacramento in the morning. I don't know what traffic's gonna be like. I think I got an eight, eight or nine. I think I said I'd be there by nine. So we're gonna leave at five. We're 100 miles out 
maybe two hours, two and a half hours. If I leave at five, we should be there. Seven, seven thirty, something like that. Just fine. We'll get there early. We can get there early. And uh, that's about it. Um, not a whole lot going on. I didn't shoot a whole lot of video on this one either. I'll see if I can get some video tomorrow when we get unloaded. I don't know what we'll get or not. But it was hot um, when we were strapping the tarpon down in Phoenix. It was 115 or something. I thought I was gonna pass out. It's hot down there. It's hot up here. It's it's a it's 105 right now, four in the afternoon up here in Ripon, California. That's what we got. We'll go up tomorrow morning, get this stuff off, and uh, go from there.